Greetings, friend. Timberlake here from Smart Hobbies, the channel that helps you transform a passing interest to a fun and enjoyable hobby. I have a treat for you today. I reached out to Philip Newman. I saw him on a video with Rankst uh, doing a pseudo cult discussion about this puzzle called the Final Countdown. And in it, Philip was talking about how he arranged the cells to make for the solve. Uh, he didn't give all too many details, but he did give a hint of how to do it. So I decided I wanted to show you how to solve this puzzle. Because if you don't really know what to look for, this can be a very difficult solve. But if you do know what to look for, it's very fun, and I'm excited to show you right now. Um, I did go through this before, so this is not my first time solving. I'm just going to show you how I did solve it. And with that, it's, it's, it's solving. solving. Uh, I think you'll notice with a puzzle like this that the rows and columns on the outside are empty, and then there's spaces in between the middle numbers. So that's going to tell you there's probably some kind of fish thing going on, uh, X-wing, swordfish, or jellyfish. And sure enough, that is the case. So what I'm going to do is show all the candidates for the solving. And at first glance, uh, what Philip had suggested is you need to look for the five. So five in column five, five in row five, and five in row six. I mean, there's only one place for a five here in block five, and it's right there. Okay, and if you continue to look for a hidden singles you're not going to find it anymore so then he said the key to solving this puzzle is in the name of the puzzle final countdown so what you want to do is now look for the fours and he even said that there's going to be some kind of fish that you need to solve this so if you look at the fours uh there is a swordfish here can you see it okay well here it is it starts in rows two rows four and eight so there's your swordfish so what does a swordfish mean? It's three by three it means that these three rows a four has to be in those three spots so you cannot have a four in another row uh, for the same three columns here or else you'll mess up the swordfish won't be enough fours to go in those rows so we can safely eliminate all the other fours in those columns so we can eliminate all the fours here. I'll highlight them. And eliminate. And what you'll notice is we have a hidden single four right here. So we can solve that for four. Great. All right. So following the countdown, let's go to the threes. And you'll see there's a swordfish of threes right here and as I'm doing this and I go to the next number you know you can pause it and try to find the swordfish or jellyfish as necessary to help solve this so there is the swordfish of threes so that means same idea we can eliminate all the other threes this time in the rows so we can eliminate all these threes I'm about to get in rows one five and nine and after doing that you'll notice right here this is the only three left in column eight so we can solve that for three okay let's go to the twos all right a lot more going on with the twos uh, we actually don't have a swordfish we have a, a jellyfish and we can go either way you can do it looking at the rows or at the columns I'm just going to do it by the rows uh, it's not always the case with swordfish and jellyfish that you could go rows or columns it just happens to be the case here uh, so just be aware of that if you don't see a swordfish by first looking at the rows or jellyfish try looking at the columns and see what happens there all right since there's four I'll use the blue so you can see that this is a four by four the twos are limited uh, in those for those four rows in the same four columns so that's a sword that's a jellyfish so we can eliminate all these extra twos in the columns and if you did it, start with columns and went to rows, you actually end up with the same eliminations. So uh, that's really cool. I love how Philip puts that kind of detail into these puzzles. All right, so we can get rid of all those twos. And you'll notice we can't solve any twos. There's no uh, hidden singles that pop out with the twos. So let's we'll move on to the ones. All right, look here. What do you see? Is it a swordfish or a jellyfish? 
Okay, it's another jellyfish. And again, we could do rows or columns. Save me a little bit of clicking. I'm going to do it by the columns instead. So here we go. Columns 2, column 4, column 6, and column 8. All right. Same 4 by 4, at most four positions, those four columns. So we can limit all these extra four, excuse me, uh, all the extra ones in those rows. There we go, there we go. And I'm being careful when I click that I don't accidentally hit a number to solve because that's the way the software works. Because I'm not looking to solve, I'm just looking to eliminate candidates right now. All righty. So we did that, um, and at a cursory glance, always want to look and see if, if you can solve anything. Uh, you now, in block five, have um, a block can. You have a pointing pair. Since the fives are, on, are limited here to row five and block five, uh, the ones, excuse me, are limited, then we can eliminate these extra ones right there. Okay, so moving on. We've gotten down to the ones. Now, if we went to the nines, would we find more swordfish? And no. Uh, in fact, the next case, and thing that Philip threw in here is not really easy. Uh, in fact, you have to look for quads now. So you have to shift your mind and now look for multiple candidates instead of just doing all single candidate eliminations. But what's neat, if you start scanning across the top like I did, uh, notice for the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 in row 1. You click Numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 are limited to those four cells in row 1. And I'll highlight that. So what does that mean? That means that a 1, 2, 3, 4 have to be in those four cells. So nothing else can be in those four cells. This is a hidden quad. Hidden quad. Crazy. So what you can do is you can eliminate all the extra candidates that are not 1, 2, 3, 4. Because they, if those are in there, you wouldn't have enough room for the 1, 2, 3, 4. Neat. All right? And so now we're able to eliminate some candidates from these outer rows, outer columns. Let's go down here to row 9. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Look at that. Those are also limited to those four cells. So we can get rid of all that are not 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right, let's try column 1. Sure enough, if you look at column 1, what do we have there? One, two, three, four, limited, column one. There, you can see in these other cells, there's no ones, twos, threes, or fours. So we can get rid of all those. And column nine. Same thing. Really neat pattern that Philip created here. And once you see it, you can really see the beauty in it and go, man, that's awesome. I love how you created this puzzle. Good job, Philip. Okay, so now we've got all these quads. Well, what's next? Um, well, now you need to look up here in block three. We there is a naked pair of ones and twos. So that means in block three, uh, you cannot have a one or two in any other spot. Well, that means we can eliminate this one and two. We can eliminate that one and two. What does that create for us? I'm curious for us a couple of naked singles. So we can solve some of those. And I'm just solving some of the naked singles I see. And then if I come down here, well, I can come down here and you see this 3, 8, 3, 8, and there's a 7, so I can solve that 7. And then the 3, 8, and 3, 8 means that this can't be an 8, that has to be a 9. Okay, interesting. But what I want to show, and just kind of get a smooth solve, is from here, I filtered the 5s. And it looks like we can solve all the fives because there's just a five right there in column eight. So I'll go around the horn and solve all these fives. Okay, fives are solved. Great. Now, the way Phil, uh, Philip made this is you can actually just keep looking for hidden singles, counting down from nine, and you'll be able to solve the rest of this puzzle. So look at the nines. There's only one nine here. And block two, so it has to be nine, 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 nine. Let's go to the eights. This is the only eight in row five. Block six. 
block eight, and you can see all the eights are solved. Let's go to the sevens. That's the only seven. It's only seven. Move to the sixes. You see how neat this is? It's all hidden or naked singles from this point. And I'm and just for symmetry, I'm going to just keep picking the candidates. This is really, really beautiful. You can see that's the only three. There's the only three there. Three. Go down to twos. Uh, this is a no, right there. That's only one by itself. And row one, nine, and I'll just run through and knock out all these twos. You can see that they. And then of course the only thing that's left are all the ones. We and so now we can solve all the ones. And that is the final countdown. Thank you, Phil, for giving me permission to show us on my channel. Uh, I plan to show more of his puzzles in the future. Hopefully you learned something. It's a really good puzzle to do uh, swordfish, jellyfish on. They really like pop out at you. Also it helps scan in your eyes for things like a hidden quad, which is not easy to do if you're eliminating candidates. Loved it. Loved it so much. Hope you got something out of this. Put in the comments below what you thought. If you did a different solve path, I'd love to see that. Uh, please stay tuned for more Sudoku handmade puzzles. And if you're a puzzle solve, uh, setter, hey, send me uh, a puzzle and I'll solve it on this channel. Thanks so much for watching.